Welcome back to Ohio Ridgelands here at Farm Sub 22. Today we are going to be chasing some deer off of our property and we've also got to make a few changes. So we are very, very close to about halfway through the series and currently, um, well, we're not making as much money as I want to. Um, maybe it's just because in the past we've done certain things like use the pumps and hoses DLC to capitalize on our manure and uh, slurry output. Uh, we've also done other crazy wild things like using milk as a form of, I'm going to get all the money in the world. So I got floating. He was floating. They're all floating. <laughs> Santa Claus is dear over here. <laughs> So uh, today what we're going to do is do a little bit of preventative maintenance on our farm. So hopefully we can get a little bit extra cash and start pushing some other areas of our farm forward. Because right now we got like one of everything, a couple tractors. It's not looking good. So to give us a little boosty boost, we're going to take some municipal subsidies. These are the smaller ones, so don't get any ideas over here. We're going to place just a few of these down. I'm not going to go crazy with it. We're not going to go absolutely wild and, and maniacal, but you know, I want to place like four of these down. I used to do four of these on every single map I played on, whether I told you guys or not. So, um, now that'll give us, I think it's like 32, uh, ish, $132,000 a day in game. Should help it a little bit. And we're going to have to do something about our header situation as well, because we have planted, uh, sunflowers. This ain't gonna work, cause that won't do sunflowers. And I'm really trying not to do a bunch of case headers or, you know, weird headers that are not supposed to be on this uh, harvester, on this harvester. But the thing is as well, there are no other like corn heads that I could go with, anything like that. So like the case one, 30 grand, that's pretty darn good. Also, I may end up getting this, 18 meters, come on. That's pretty good. Goodness gracious, dude. Corn heads are expensive. Yeah, I think, uh, I think this guy, the used one, I think this is gonna have to be where we go. The good thing is, at least with this, we could change up the color to black so it'll look a little bit better on the front of our combine. So there we go. I have no idea where it is. Oh, well, that's not where I wanted my store deliveries to put it. There we go. Much, much better. We grab it and put it over here. So for now, I guess we're using the same combine harvester. I really wanted to upgrade and get something like massive get something like bigger and and badder even though this is a pretty incredible combine from where it is right now i still wanted to go bigger but it looks like we're staying about the same at least for this setup honestly this may be the perfect combine harvester for really anything i think i've used it what three series in a row Come on, man, it's perfect. As far as today in game goes, that's gonna be probably about it. So we've got all of these other uh, little bits and bobs, but we're not reset yet because enough time hasn't gone by. So at least for in game today, I think we're good. One thing I haven't done is checked on the animals in a hot minute. Oh, I think they need some TMR. We also got a bunch of manure over here. Goodness gracious, I believe it's about 400,000 liters of manure. Something tells me that we're gonna need to do something with that. Three loads at 182,000 liters each of TMR should do the trick, at least for now. Oh, the cattle are out of 410, so they'll be close, very, very close to 600,000 liters total there. Uh, milk is getting pretty high, and so is slurry, so we definitely need to figure out what to do with that before um, they get that reproduction up to 100%, which is going to be in three months. Otherwise, uh, these numbers are going to go through the roof. As a matter of fact, let's take care of that now, at least the milk. So the milk, okay, I'm going to have to turn that off. That's going to get annoying. There we go. So the milk, I've got them on installed. Uh, well, it's the one that you guys saw the last time that works really, really well with that. Farm dairy, totally not putting cheaty version down. Nope, not me. Never me. Hey, it definitely, Definitely wouldn't be me. And snap it into place. Place it down right there. Please place it down right there. Place it down right there. Nice. I just realized the incoming material will hold 500 million liters. <laughs> Who's got that much milk? I'm about to take you guys along for a ride for something that I actually haven't done yet. And that's pick stuff up from the store. <laughs> I don't even think I've been to the store on this map. I just keep like spamming everything over to me this is cool okay is that solid that is solid how did he do that 
that's epic, dude. Yo, that's so cool. Great job, man. He's definitely got some cool stuff on here. I like this. I like how he's done this. Man, I should have come down here more often. This is cool. So we're going to take the milk, which we've got way more than I kind of thought we did. It's like 300 some. I could have been making money off of milk this whole time. But I haven't because I'm an idiot. First things first, gather the milk and put it in the thing, which I think is right here. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to take a while. Um, so I got 350 plus thousand liters of milk in there and it ain't going quick. I also need to figure out what I'm going to do with the slurry. I think for now, probably selling it's going to be the way to go. I don't think we're going to be getting a pumps and hoses set up anytime soon. What's up, dude? So I think the slurry shall go in here. It will go in there, and then it will be sold. Looks like we are close-ish to halfway. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, did I even need to put some money cheats in? This, this is going to be a lot. So there's 350 plus thousand liters of milk in there. Okay, well, said milk then goes in here and gets sold out as raw milk. Okay. Well, the thing is, raw milk doesn't show up on here. It's there, but there is no quote-unquote selling point for it but it's better than like regular milk that's a, a thing for all platforms as well by the way so if we go up here to regular milk you can see we're at two thousand ish this is gonna be three thousand probably well i don't know why don't we find out well we can't find out right now it's got to produce it but i mean we're talking for this a million dollars probably more it's almost ridiculous it is almost ridiculous. And I love it. Hey, how do I how do I dump this? You know, it's funny on uh previous maps that I've played on, uh this actually works really well <laughs> with this exact trailer. And for some reason, it's just not working at all. I can't I physically can't unload is it because there's nothing attached? Do I need a tractor? Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Why? Why doesn't it work? Ah! Maybe I just haven't activated it. Maybe that is the, the, the thing. Yep, raw milk. Tis activated. But, uh, z the milk though. Gar. All right, so now there's another reason that this could also be happening. Um, the trigger isn't exactly flat, so the, it might be just a little bit too high. Let's see if we can get in here, maybe lower it down just a little bit. Hopefully it won't be too much. Actually, you know what? Taking that and getting rid of that may be easier than having to do the whole milk thing over and over again. How about we try and do this? How about we try and set our milk up maybe up here? I don't know. It is flat, so at least there's that. I'm making a big assumption right now that that was the issue. And I really hope that it was. Ooh, maneuvering in and out of here is going to suck, too. Oh, boy. So much fun being halved by DJ right now. I don't like this at all. <laughs> is there an easier way to place around here where I could put that? Maybe down here. I know you could get in there, but maybe, just maybe, if we put one here to the side and maybe move it out forward just enough to where it's like there. Let's let's set it to where it'll actually flatten the ground around it. I'm going to allow this. I don't think it's a smart decision, but I'm going to allow it. Yeah, definitely wasn't a smart decision. Let's go ahead and delete that for now. And let's give it a try and see. Was that the issue? Certainly was, actually. Yeah. The issue was, in fact, that the trigger was just too low. Well, at least we know it's fine now, so there's that. We'll go ahead and double check this real quick, make sure everything's good, and we will activate that. Now, there's a lot of... Uh-oh. Uh... Why was the other one 50 million? Oh, probably because it was going off the storage of my silo. That'd have been it, huh? That'd have been it. Let's see. Can we upgrade this anymore? Don't have enough money. Well, okay then. Oh boy. It's just full. I can't put any more in there now than is already there. What I can do is come up here. <laughs> make our way through here. I can put the rest of this milk in our silo. So that's 
a thing. Yeah, I totally forgot that the silo is also an extension for, like, um, basically everything. So if you put it down, it works really well, but then it causes issues. Uh, I believe this is a Shul's modding silo, but I, I might have done some other stuff to it. <laughs> Sorry, dude. And now that that's over with, let's go over here to the... Oh boy, I'm not gonna be able to back in there even though I'm the best backwards driver in farm sim. Let's lock up that front bit. Yeah, just like that. Oof. And then I'm gonna go and see if we can find ourselves something to hook this up with. That truck's gonna be a whole lot easier. And now that we've got all of the slurry and a little bit of a hiccup going on, we have got a place selected that I'm gonna go sell it. Some, somewhere, I did. I did have a place to like, oh, it's right there. And here it is. So 664,000 liters of slurry. Uh, if I was smart, I would use this in a different way, but well, I, I spray everything. I don't use it like this. So we'll come in here. We'll get all this sold. We should make a little bit of money. This is not gonna be game changing money. I'm not gonna win the lottery with all this liquid poo, but should get a little bit, and that's that's what we're going for here. What are we gonna get? 72 grand, all right, nice. I would say that's probably enough to where we can go ahead and upgrade our facilities again. So we'll come through here, we will find milk, which should fill up pretty darn quick, and while it's doing that, I'll go ahead and upgrade our farm dairy. So now we are upgraded to Level three, I believe, and we can fit a total of 300,000 liters in there, but um, we're, there, we're probably <clears throat> gonna need more than that, I think. Let's give her a try and see what we can do here. So, first level of milk's going in. We got 150,000 liters left. That ain't gonna fit, so let's upgrade it to level four. Now, we can hold up to 400,000 liters, which should be plenty, and we're basically out of money again. Crap. All right, good morning. We have uh, kind of gone through into the next day. Money is really good. We're almost at 396. Actually, we are at $396,000. We're gonna take a look at our cattle real quick. So we got 50,000 liters of slurry overnight as well as 31,000 liters of milk. Not too bad. TMR is going down a lot quicker than I was expecting. I'll give you that much. As far as everything else here goes, we've got a little bit more wheat, not much oats. Well, we're probably going to be going in a day or two. As far as our bakeries go, so the two of these, one of them, uh, is doing well. We've got a full flower there. We've got almost full flower here on the level four and level eight as well. Plus, we got plenty of bread overnight. Oil mills do a great as well. It just keeps popping out oil. That's its job. And then the uh, farm dairy right here, it is going down very quickly. As you guys can see, in a single 24-hour span, it has gotten rid of two, or 150,000 liters. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. All right. I'm going to connect all of the bread and stuff. Should um, I think go this way or this way? I think it's this way. Yeah, because it'll take all the bread that's in that. Put it in this. Nice. So it looks like our best price for not only the bread, but also the oil. Come on. There you go. It's going to be right over here, right on the other side of this wall. So I'm gonna take these and throw them over the wall. Unfortunately, I'm not good enough, so I can't jump over the wall by myself. So we'll come over here. We've got a bread right here. Just like that. And we'll drop it there. Please? I'll just charge turn around that way. Gotcha. Really? We just gonna do this. I can't actually set it down. So I'll just sit here and hold it like an idiot. Evidently the price for bread was awesome because we got a bunch of cash off of that. Now we're at five. $150,000. Nice, nice. What about oil? We have 20,000 liters of oil right here. Hopefully, that's going to give us some kind of good money. All right, well, I guess I don't need to complain too much about not having money anymore. There's another 120 grand right there. Um, yeah. Yeah, money's okay now, isn't it? Overnight, we went from 20,000 to 600. So we got $650,000 in one night. Oof. And we'll take our last little bit and we'll dump it in this one. Now I do also want to double check in the used stuff just to see if there's anything that could possibly be of some use to us. And fortunately nothing there. So that tells me that we are ready to 
fast forward some time again. So it's September now. I think it's going to be October or November until our sunflowers are ready to go. So uh, we'll just see you then, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> There's not much to do in between other than sit and wait. We're getting pretty late in the day here in October. Uh, it's getting ready to be November, and I'm pretty sure everything's going to be ready to grow by then. So it's going to be nice to get some harvest done. However, I think our cattle are about to duplicate. <laughs> so we've had these guys since they were zero days old. And I may have bought a bunch of them as soon as they hit. I think it was like uh, 10 months, 8 months, something like that. Anyway, uh, or 12, I think it was 12. Well, they have been in reproductive mode since they hit 18 months. And I think, there we go. Yep. We've got a bunch more. <laughs> oh, I got 400 out of cattle now. Oof. They're going to be taking food like it's going out of style. Hey, they are worth $69 though. Oh, now they're worth more. Darn. Ah, yes. 11 a.m. My favorite time. So... Our milk should be all done up. There shouldn't be any more milk in there. No, there's not. We do have 151,000 liters of slurry, but that's over two days, so we'll be fine there. And as you can see, our health has increased dramatically. We've more than, I think, tripled the amount of money for those guys. But now we've got uh, 400 cows in there instead of 200. So it's going to take a little bit of time and a little bit of energy to make sure that all of them um, stay normal. There you go. We're going to come over here. We're going to go ahead and dump out some of this. There we go. Milk is going in, and there's a lot of it as well. I think there's... Uh, I don't know if that's hundreds of thousands or just regular thousands. I think that's just regular thousands. Uh, I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Okay, yeah, that's just regular thousands. Speaking of regular thousands, I got about uh, 14,000 thousands. <laughs> whole lot of it we're at 1.4 million dollars right now a lot of money has come in we are uh, well very thankful for the fact that that amount of money has come in let's take this here we'll kind of back it in and see how much money we're gonna get for the bread and the oil 100 mile an hour is my favorite speed to go in farm sips slow down baby there you go all right so now we've got a quite a few more things to do here we've got Cells of the slurry, which easy there. And sales of all this as well. I want to be able to take. Come on, let's go. I want to be able to have like a fresh start. As we're going to start harvest, I want to take a fresh start. All right, so $16,000 when it comes to the slurry. That's pretty good. As far as the oil that we've got, which I think was about 40000 uh Liters, that's uh, two hundred thousand dollars. Lastly, fifty-five thousand liters of bread gives us just north of three hundred thousand dollars. All I need is four grand, less than four grand, and we'll be at two mil. There's got to be something around here I could sell for that much. I'm taking one for the team. I'm getting rid of some of my flour just so I could say we had two million dollars. Come on, what? I pick it up. I don't feel like dry. there's two mil. I'm happy. I'm happy. We're good. We're good. Life is complete now. Life is complete. All right. And the last little bit's going to be this right here. Dumping the rest out. God, there's just so much. I need to upgrade all of these just so they'll finally work the way that I want them to. But a great thing is, harvest baby. So it seems like that whole time I could have literally just been selling my milk, been selling manure and slurry. And we probably would have caught up with money pretty fast because, as you can see, uh, well, the money has gone up, and it's gone up dramatically. So we may invest some of that into a new... Oh, I missed my turn. Uh, we may invest some of that into a new combine harvester so we can run two of them. We may invest some of that into other stuff or, or not. I have no idea, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Unfortunately, that's soon enough. Ain't right now.